Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to Melinda's Messy Sink. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today, we are going to start our Cinco de Mayo series. We will be making Doritos Chicken Casserole. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees and I'll meet you back over in the kitchen. The ingredients we will be using in today's recipe. All right, welcome back. To, to my mixing bowl, I have added the cream of chicken soup. I'm going to add three cups of cooked chicken. I'm going to add two tablespoons of Mexican seasoning. If you have a packet, you'll use half of your packet. I am going to add the um, diced tomatoes. I have drained these. Um, next, we'll add one cup of cheese, a half a cup of milk, and a half a cup of sour cream. We're going to mix this well. It smells amazing. Between the um, taco seasoning and the diced tomatoes, oh man, oh man. And this is what your mixture will look like after you get it all combined. The next step, we are going to take a two quart um, baking dish and we are going to, um, I took a bag of Doritos and I put them in a Ziploc bag and I crushed them. So we are going to put about uh, a third of the Doritos into the bottom of our baking dish. We're going to add half of our chicken mix. You're gonna spread that out as best as you can. If you see some empty spots, feel free to add a little bit more. You're going to add another layer of Doritos. I'm gonna spread those out with my hands. And then I'm gonna add the remaining chicken mixture. Oh man, it smells so good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, some more Doritos to the top. And we're gonna add another cup of cheese. And this is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. We're going to put our baking dish in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes on 350 degrees. Okay, you guys, we're back. Our mixture has baked for, I baked mine for 30 minutes. My whole house smells like a Dorito chicken casserole. Um, I just wanna show you the top is crunchy. So it's kind of like one of those, um, like a tostada where the top is hard. Um, it smells so good. I went ahead and set up kind of like a taco bar here. Um, my husband will take this for his lunch tomorrow. So um, the nice thing about it, and I need to give just a big shout out to all of my, the people that my husband works with. They are my taste testers and I appreciate them so much. But I have, while this was baking, I chopped up the lettuce, tomato, um, green onions, and I've got some sour cream and some olives here um, that you saw earlier. So what I wanted to do was to go ahead and give this a taste and see if it tastes as good as it smells. I'm not taking a real big bite because it's hot. Mmm, y'all, this is good stuff. Oh, that chicken in there with those Doritos and it's creamy from that soup and the sour cream. Oh gosh, you guys, it is so yummy. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can catch all of the rest of our Cinco de Mayo recipes. And don't forget, 
Jesus loves you. I'll see you in the next video.